and then we're going to go to the to the way we learn more about the IM software that is from architectural design, architecture, consulting, and every aspect of construction. In today's video, I'll put in a structure to make use of calculus for reinforcement using the plan suite software. Now, this is the structural drawing where I have the reinforcement details. This for slab reinforcement details. This for ground for foundation slab. Then, this is my beam details here. Then, for slope beam details also with my slab reinforcement. Now, for slab reinforcement, now I will also understand that we have horizontal and vertical parts. What we we'll just do is we we'll make use of this choice to by default commit of the choice to here. I just go to the calculate for the reinforcement bars. Let's click on this. Now let's scroll the page first. Let's scroll this page. Okay, now once I'm done with this, just come back here. You can use this grid tool here to create a new, you can just name it the first main path. So, I'll make this the space is still 100 mm, 200 mm from this. That's 200, that's 0.2. I'll provide cast space since 0.3. Okay. That's the real speak. Now, once you're done with this, double click to generate the reinforcement pass. Hmm? So, this is the total length of pass. Here, yeah, this is 1359 meters. So, you can just convert this to meter to kg by using the multiplying factor. Since this will be y12 pass, that will be this times y12, which we will do on Excel. Now, another method you can also use to do this, let me hide this, is to use the default tools here. Now for reinforcement here, for this template here, reinforcement, click on this. Now, actual size of bars, that's 12 mm diameter bars. Center to center spacing, that's 0.2. Top and bottom, they are all top. Or bottom so the vertical horizontal ones are top while the vertical ones are bottom so leave this as one the short side that's the length can leave the short and so short, short and long side later okay now the size of the bar is 12 mm bar so that's the center that's point three is one to so the short side is 11.56 and the long side is 14 0.67 uh, yes, just click OK and with this template here we we'll just click once this should be the width the total width is 1.13 tons so this is it here hmm? so for reinforcement bar that will be used here we have Y12 and it's at 1.13 tons I'll just come and show the agent this is it here So reinforcement for this 1.13. Now let's come back to the beam. Yeah. Now for the beam details here. Yeah. See we have the 20 mm bars, 10 mm for the links, right? Then we have I confirm the sizes of bars across all of this. Hmm? So you know the top ones here, 
the top of their own 20 ma hmm? top of bottom of 20 ma why the links are 10 ma right same goes for this hmm? i just come and verify the details here also this is the section hmm? for the section we have 10 members hmm? you've seen it so this is the diameter the section details of the bar so we have for this first one section 0101 we have three up three down then this arrangement in the middle hmm? that's two two in the middle that means for this section one one here hmm? this y12 that's one in the middle here are the top ones which are still three is the other ones up here hmm? let's come back to pin let's kill this page first now we scroll this is killed already click on this reinforcement in B things are these details description should be B reinforcement And the name should be let's say Y20. I'm going for Y20. That's 20 ma. Okay. And the number of words from the drawing here we have two. That will be three. And the extra as the bend. This bend here. That will be point. Let's say point four. Then five car bends and the car bends. We'll bring it in that here. Diameter of the beam itself. Mm, diameter of the links rather. That's right thing. Mm, the spacing is 300. That's point three. Then the bend. That's the bend. That's point one five. The width of the links. Also, the depends on the dimension of the beam. That's the beam is point two three by. Point six. I come back to check this later. Right? Okay. Now for the beam, we just pick the length, which is this. Okay. That's for the first one. This, this top one. So remember, the top ones are by twenty. So you do here. Hmm? So since you have the total links, you can also do the same thing down here. Since it's three up and three down, we can just change it to six, multiple of six immediately from here. Hmm? Then I'll pick the next one, which is Y20. This is 16, 12. 16, 12. 16. This is Y20 here. Yeah? I'll pick this one also. We have this as 20. Okay, then the next one, which other one is 20. We have this top one here as 20 also. And that's great. I'm picking the point. Just picking the straight part. So we'll just be doing we'll be just be looking for we'll just look for the 20 members on this drive. That is all for our 20 members. That's 370.4 kg. Turn this off. Stop. Now we'll be picking for the 12 members. Hmm? Turn this on. Description and first printing here. This is for 12 mm. The numbers we have two. Then extra 
there won't be added the links to this calculation because we've added the links already when we're picking for the 20 members so that'll be okay and i see we are done with all of the white work and clicking stop now you notice something here you check out this white work details here you have we have layers in three sides and we have two sides and that's two on both sides it has three layers that's the beam details is looking like this this is the details of the beam one two three one two three so that is one two three that's two on both sides when they are on three sides that will be six per beam six white or per beam just come here right click properties properties you can now change this road number to 12 and to six huh? and click ok see this has increased already it has affected the, those changes already immediately now this beam here yeah, we have the size is 2 to 5 by 1.2 that's the total so the link will be 2 to 5 by 1.2 so just right, double click on this remember name this y12 links that will be 10 mm diameter 0.15 the width of the length is 0.225 the length is 1.2 hmm? at least we take it into consideration hmm. okay so you notice it's because of all the beam as the reinforcement but the white hope on it so it, the white hope is the best to add our links on because all link section has the white hope on it hope you understand so we'll be removing that from the Y20. We'll come back to the X here. Just delete the details here. Hmm? Once you backspace, it won't have any calculation. Okay. So since it's not the normal, just the exact number of parts. Now for Y16, which is the last type here. Hmm? Yeah, remember we have Y16 also. So now we just do is come back to this two, same two here. So this will be the reinforcement. should be three because three is three for now then the extra should be point point two three okay so this is four sixteen we have this come this point see it is three not two so we can cross go back there once we don't have measurement to effect those changes this is the y16 value Please kindly note, um, this training is for educational purpose only. And if you are enjoying this class so far, kindly like and subscribe to this channel as I'll be posting regular updates and tutorials like this every week. Basically, this is just for complex beams. Now, I'm done with the entire Y16 beam here. So, this is the width here. So, we have the width for Y20, Y2, and Y16, which you can now input in your build of quantities once you're done. So this is how you measure for the beam in the length. Now, if you double click on this Y12 here where we have our links measurement, you come here, see total quantity of links here. This is where you can view total quantity of links. 
that is this part here this is where you can view the quantity of links so this will just give you the exact um width of your white top but that'll be all for this session can you like this video and subscribe to this channel as more updates will be coming up every week thank you